हेलो एवरी वन अ वॉम वेलकम टू इंग्लिश क्लास आई एम योर टीचर डिम्पी खुराना वर्किंग इज इंग्लिश मिस्ट्रेस एट गवर्नमेंट हाई स्कूल अलाचौर इन डिस्टिक एस बी एस नगर डी एस स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास नाइन एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज the king who limped dear students it is a simple and humorous play it makes fun of people who try to please others by flattery this play has been written by monica thorn so dear students without any delay let's start and enjoy this play before starting to read this play first of all in pre reading section we will learn some new words and their meanings the very first word is heralds herald means a person who announces important news or arrival of a king next word is page it means a young male attendant next is sycophant it means a person who tries to win favor by flattery next new word is limped it means could not walk properly because of injury in the leg next difficult word is chancellor it means a title of a senior state officer next new word is plump it means a little fat excellency it means a title used while talking to or talking about some important official next word is anxious it means feeling worried or nervous next new word is tyrant it means a cruel ruler next rude it means not showing respect next new word is craning it means stretching one's neck to see something or someone next new word is queer it means strange or unusual trumpet means a long brass musical instrument next is puff it means show oneself too full of pride next new word is smooths it means removes creases from the dress pronounced it means very noticeable or you can say clear next word is courtesy it means show respect by doing an action next new word is buzz it means low soft sounds produced while talking holding up it means blocking the movement next word is expect it means hope for last but not the least whisper means talk in a very low tone into someone's ear dear students 
Now we will read out this play. Let's enjoy reading The King Who Limped written by Monica Thorne. So there are characters of this play. First of all, there is a new king who does not like sycophants. So he wants to test his courtiers. How does he do that? Read on. Characters of this play are First, the king who wears bowler hat and walks with pronounced limp. The prime minister who is plump and important looking. Next is Chancellor who is a senior state officer. Next a courtier who is a handsome young man with a kind heart. Next character is First Lady who is tall, slim and has more sense. Next character is Second Lady, Chief Lady in Waiting who is a short and fat, very fat looking. Next two neighbors who were quarreling in the street over the ownership of a dog. Two heralds who blows trumpet and announces important news. Next, a page, a young male attendant who carries a dog on a cushion. And next, a dog whose ownership is in dispute. So here, the first scene is in the audience room of the palace, the courtiers are waiting for the king, the prime minister, the chancellor and the ladies in waiting are anxious to meet the new king. Prime minister who is plump and important looking. Well, I think it is simply stupid having a king none of us has ever seen. Why, he might be a Chinaman or an African for all we know. First lady who is tall and slim looking up from the book on her knee. Don't be silly. Second lady who is short and fat, very fat, looking up from the hand mirror she has taken out of her bag. You should not call the Prime Minister silly. It's not respectful. First Lady, why not? If he is silly, Chancellor, it does not matter how silly he is if he is the Prime Minister. Prime Minister rising and sitting on the throne, pushing the Chancellor of the arm. Please, I beg you to stop quarreling. Chancellor, you will get into trouble if you are found sitting on the throne. You would better get up. The courtier who is a handsome young man with a kind heart. I expect the Prime Minister found the steps hard, didn't you, Your Excellency? Prime Minister, very hard and His Majesty is keeping us waiting a long time. I am anxious, very anxious. 
first lady. What about? Prime Minister. About this new king whom none of us know. Why? He may be a tyrant, a perfect tyrant. Second lady. Putting her hair straight. What's a tyrant? First lady. One who makes you eat rice pudding when he knows you hate it. Second lady, I like rice pudding. First lady, you like anything to eat. Chancellor, will you stop being rude to one another? The king may be here at any moment. What are you staring at out of that window? Courtier, kneeling on the window seat. There are crowds of people in the street and it is pouring with rain. They don't seem to mind a bit. Now they are all waving their hands. The sound of a trumpet is heard. Ah, oh, here he comes, craning nearer to the window. Well, that's queer. Second lady, what's queer? Courtier, never mind. You will soon see. Second lady, but I want to know now. The trumpet is heard again and this time it sounds nearer. First lady, you would better get up off that throne, Jim Crow. Prime Minister, stop calling me Jim Crow. My name is James Crowther, Sir James Crowther. Chancellor, as a third trumpet sounds. Here comes His Majesty. Both he and the Prime Minister puff themselves out importantly and stand on either side of the throne. Second Lady, I do hope he is handsome. She rises and smooths her dress. Chancellor, of course he is handsome. Prime Minister, I hope he won't want his own way too much. Chancellor, of course he won't want his own way too much. Courtier rising, why should not he want his... Prime Minister, be quiet, here he is. Two heralds enter, blowing their trumpets. They are followed by the king, who wears a bowler hat and walks with a pronounced limp. Behind him comes a page carrying a dog on a cushion. Behind the page walk two neighbors, each of them holding a lead attached to the dog's collar. As the king goes up to the throne, the gentlemen bow and the ladies courtesy, but there is a buzz of astonishment at the king's unusual appearance. Second lady in a whisper, What a funny hat! Prime Minister in a whisper. Why he limps? King, seating himself on the throne. Well, here we are at last. The heralds seat themselves on the steps of the throne with their legs crossed. Prime Minister, looking at the neighbors, 
who have stayed near the door with the dog and the page. Your Majesty, if I may be so bold as to ask, who are these persons? King, oh, I caught them in the street fighting, so I brought them in here to find out what it was all about. They were holding up the traffic. To your neighbors, you would better sit down and wait. The neighbors sit on the floor with their legs crossed and the page sits between them holding the dog. Now and again they each try to pet the dog. Chancellor, it is very unusual to bring common people into the palace, Your Majesty. King, what did you expect me to do? Let them go on fighting? Prime Minister, no, Your Majesty, but... King, but, but, but... But me... No more buts. I am going to arbitrate between them. Second lady, what does arbitrate mean? She says this in a loud whisper. First lady who has more sense in her ordinary voice. Decide which is in the right and which is not. Dear students, this is the partial reading of this play and we will continue this play in the next session also. In this session, we will discuss up to this, right? Actually, this is a simple and humorous play. It makes fun of people who try to please others by flattery. They are sycophants. They have no worth of their own. Such people don't deserve the position they hold. They use flattery as a tool to maintain their position. But a wise person at once sees through their cunning and keeps them at arm's length. In this play, a new king comes to his court limping and wearing a funny hat. He wants to see if there are any sycophants in his court. In order to please the king, the prime minister, the chancellor, and a fat lady in waiting start limping. They also get the kind of hat the king is wearing. The king at once sees that these people have no worth at all. They don't know how to decide even a simple case. So the king removes these sycophants from their positions and he appoints those who really deserve it. So dear students, here this play opens in the audience room of the king's palace and different characters are there. So here the prime minister and the chancellor try to look important and take position on either side of the throne. The king enters with a blowing of trumpets. He is wearing a baller hat and walks with a big limp. Behind him is a page carrying a dog on a cushion. Behind the page there are two neighbors. Each of them is holding a chain attached to the dog's collar. The king goes up to the throne Everyone looks astonished at the king's unusual appearance. 
The second lady says in a whisper that the king is wearing a funny hat. The prime minister whispers that the king limps. The king says that he had seen them fighting in the street and brought them with him to settle their dispute. And the chancellor says that it is unusual to bring common people into the palace as the king says, what did you expect me to do? Let them go on fighting. So dear students, rest of the part will be discussed in the next session. Now we will do post reading activities related to this text. Here some questions are given. First of all, I will read out the questions and you need to note it down in your notebooks and try to find their answers. The very first question is, why were the courtiers anxious? I am repeating, why were the courtiers anxious? Second question, how did the king look like? How did the king look like? Third question, who did the king bring with him? Why? I am repeating, who did the king bring with him? Why? Yes, dear students, try to write their answers. Yeah, they are quite easy. You can do it easily. Let's try to find their answers. The very first question is, why were the courtiers anxious? And its answer is, they were anxious to meet the new king. Question number two. How did the king look like? And its answer is, When the king enters, he is wearing a bowler hat and he walks with a pronounced limp. Question number third. Who did the king bring with him? Why? And its answer is, The king brought two men with him who were neighbors and were quarreling in the street over the ownership of a dog. The king brought them to decide their dispute. Dear students, I am going to repeat these answers again so that you can easily grasp these. Question number one. Why were the courtier anxious? And its right answer is, they were anxious to meet the new king. Please write down your answers in your notebooks also. Question number two. How did the king look like? And its answer is, when the king enters, he is wearing a bowler hat and he walks with a pronounced limp. Question number third. Who did the king bring with him? Why? And its answer is the king brought two men with him who were neighbors and were quarreling in the street 
over the ownership of a dog. The king brought them to decide their dispute. Dear students, these are the questions related to the text which we have already read. Right? So, you need to write these answers in your notebooks also. Right? Dear students, now this is your home assignment that is learning to write. Write a short paragraph on importance of justice. You need to write the importance of justice in this society. Okay? So, this is all about for today's session. Dear students, hope you fully understood today's lecture. We will meet again in a new session with same topic. Right? In next session, we will discuss the rest of the part of the king who limped. Till then, goodbye. Have a very nice day.